And the governor, being the executive, just can't pass laws. That's the job of the legislature. But I regret to tell you that I hold in my hand here Governor Conley's veto message of July 20th, wherein he has sought to redo, to repass the laws of the legislature in violation of the Constitution. The Constitution does permit him to veto items uh, the whole appropriation or items of the appropriation, but it just does not permit him to veto limitations or riders at the legislature without vetoing the appropriation. For to permit this is to permit him to pass laws, and I... What's the biggest problem you have right now? I have, uh, in the air defense, uh, maintaining a proper surveillance capability and uh, getting interceptors which can deal with uh, bombers, which could be supersonic and which could carry air surface missiles. Well, uh, we object to the uh, bill the way it stands now because of uh, uh, the power that it gives the board without the consent of the public. Uh, and this, uh, this is to uh, levy bonds for anything that they uh, feel like is necessary. The industry and commerce that has created this demand for air traffic is destined to move and to move their headquarters to an area that can accommodate that air traffic demand. And that's where our opportunities lie. We must provide the means to accommodate this heavy air traffic. I think it's just misuse of funds, but of course we have no way of telling because the county commissioners do not have a right to, to audit these funds. They are just presented the budget and they must approve it. I'm sure that there's some school board members that sit on that school board where they really do not understand the, the full understanding of the budget that is presented to them. I couldn't say that there was any graft or skull of it, no. Well, actually, you know, with three quarters of a million dollars in three years, we build quite a facility for vocational education, one which would accommodate something like 1,500 people. And at the same time, the people of Dallas County should have the right to decide what they do with their tax dollars. We are one of the two counties out of 254 who do not have this right, and this in itself is, uh, uh, is open for question. The only way that the county school board in Dallas County can be abolished is by the coming legislature 
to propose legislation and get it passed where the Dallas County citizens would have the right to vote as to whether they would abolish it or not. Under the 1961 law, as was written and as the Park House Amendment made it, any citizens in counties with 900,000 people or more don't even have the right to vote out the county system. Now this uh, would take an act as a legislature. Do you think we could get it done in this next legislature? Yes, I think that we can get it done by giving it enough publicity that the people in Dallas County understand that this is a waste and duplication of funds and effort and as badly as money is needed today and qualified people are needed today, I think that it can be done away with. Deal with uh, the bomber threat. Well, it looks like for years. The Russian is continuing to build bombers. Uh, they do have great utility to him uh, because of their greater accuracy and their ability to carry uh, heavier loads so that a single bomber can carry several warheads. 